Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Wala halal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day Juma Mubarak In today's video we'll be reacting to Pinsek uh, Salad In uh, Hollywood uh, movies This video was suggested by AST Easton Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys We'll be right back with a video Welcome back guys, we're going to get started with the video momentarily and inshallah at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're going to get started with our video. Hello, I'm Iko Weiss, so I'm in an infirmary scene. Here. This scene is one of the biggest scenes for me, maybe for the entire movie. I got a handcuff, you know, and I'm going to be naked. I just uh, wearing the underwear, no padding. And action! <laughs> Before we come to uh, shoot the fight on the day, we do it on a gymnastics floor where it's a little bit more forgiving with cardboard boxes. When we planned it and uh, choreographed it, we want to make sure it's raw and real as it could be. We shot a previous onset, kind of like a video storyboard. It gives you an idea of what's going to happen. The angles are not set and locked. It's those are just the ideas like we shot just to let the director see how it would be. More than that, more than that. Yeah, and then on the day, they would shoot their version. To go into that world of sophisticated hand-to-hand -hand combat was something kind of new to me, and I had a hunch I would like it, and I, I absolutely loved it. Can I have all the motorcycle riders come over here? Pete's style is sort of like controlled demolitions. I think he's more interested in kind of the poetry of the real. We always try to make everything as real as possible. It's usually, you know, entails me getting the, the crap kicked out of me. Three, two, one, go! But, you know, I know the end result is going to be great. To get this combat realism, the key to it is in testing. And in that testing is videos after videos after compound after compound. Uh, what you'll see here is the in interior fire system that'll be used in the Russian safe house. You can see it's dripping fuel, the sparks happen, and off the fire heads go. The fights and the stunts and the action, generally I approach it from how can we make this as real as possible and limit the amount of giant green and blue screens that we have to have on set. There's sequences where we're driving down the street, we're like speeding down highways and you know, there's people attacking us. They have the regular cars that we can drive. Then they have these other cars called pod cars. And there's this, like, basically what looks like a stripped-down race car with a steering wheel on it. And they get a stunt driver up there, and, you know, you sit in the driver's seat, and you're pretending to drive, but actually there's a stunt driver controlling everything you do. It's awesome. It's amazing. Action! In this particular picture, when everything's blowing up, whether it's in the apartment building or the way it's on the streets of Bogota, Colombia, it is real. It's a version that only Pete Berg gets. Morning. See what kind of shit show we've got. The movies that I liked as a kid growing up and as a young adult growing up, and the kinds of moments that inspire me. Generally, those have led me to probably a more you know, reality-based style of making movies. It's all part of this new wave of modern combat cinema where they shoot everything in real time. They're shooting three or four cameras at a time. It's very dirty. You have all kinds of special effects. You have stunts where you have explosions. There's all kinds of gunfire. Bam, bam, bam. So what we're trying to do in this fight with modern combat cinema is take real combat along with martial arts and combine them. 
Working with Eco is fantastic. He reminds me of like a like a Jackie Chan. He choreographs all of his own fights. He's a big star all over the world for a reason. And combining these two different styles of action and fighting uh, and combat is pretty awesome. What makes this film different and unique is that the martial arts that you see today in a lot of movies, especially comic book movies, it's very showy. Well, the movements are big. This has real application, and it's super, super violent, um, as a fight would be. For people who are, you know, used to uh, different styles of fighting, this probably will feel a bit new. Do you think that because I'm a woman, I'm less capable of extreme violence? Because I'm very happy to disabuse you of the misconception. Lauren kind of had the right balance of intelligence and, and believable physicality and intensity. Women are being incorporated into special operations. Really wanted to look at the idea of um, women doing that kind of work. Alice is pretty badass. She's got a lot of fire, and the big appeal was the intellectual smarts and tenacity, as well as what we've come to see as insane physical ability. Whoa, that's good. Alice definitely has this whole skill set that was a real pleasure to learn. Rhonda and I had the best time doing this movie. <laughs> My role was not so dependent on being physical and fighting. It was like completely the opposite. He really wanted to kind of give me an opportunity to actually, you know, act and not just lean on the physicality part. In the Russian safe house, I had so much fun because I actually got to implement like all the tactical gun training. On your knees. And the fire was really cool. It's not like acting. You have to act like there's fire because there's fire. In mile 22, we're literally on an intense ride from start to finish. It just doesn't ever let up. That's my asset, Lee Moore. No kids, no family, 100% accurate and reliable. You mark him or he mark you? I marked him. Ego is a world-renowned action star. He was in the Raid movies. He choreographs all of his own fights. He's a big star all over the world for a reason. I went and saw the film, and I was just mesmerized by him and by the soul and the texture and the emotion and the physical brutality, all kind of, he just had it. There's something there. You see a hundred guys fight, but one of them kind of touches your soul. Eco definitely had that quality. Eco is a master of Pinchak Silat, which is an Indonesian martial art. It has a lot of circular blocks. It's not like your basic karate or taekwondo, which is very hard. Silat's known for having knives. They use all sorts of things as weapons. And there's so many talented fight choreographers, and, and we used several of them. And Eco really ran it. What was interesting was to watch the American guys support Eco. So it became this very interesting, like, laboratory. Eco is basically the next generation of Jackie Chan and people who don't already know him will definitely know him and what he can do from this movie. Eco brought his day game, and I'm really happy to be a part of helping bring Eco to a larger audience. We fight new wars. The old options, military, diplomacy, they don't always succeed. Sometimes you need a third option. That's Overwatch. It's not like, you know, the Navy SEALs where it's like no man left behind. This is an every and any man left behind type of situation. The mission is the only priority. Pete asked if I knew anything about CIA, and I told him a little bit about the paramilitary division of CIA. It's an organization that has not gotten much attention, but by design. They take care of some of the more operation-oriented activities, and I just thought it was really rich material for a movie. Sam, what's the op? Classified. The op is classified? Correct. They are off the grid. They technically do not exist. We're ghosts, but we are very real, and we get things done. B-Mark. 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 
Pete and Lee had a lot of exposure to these people, and what they wanted to communicate more than anything that they were still people at the end of the day. Hey, so, you happen to have any more 45 cal ammo back there? I've got more ammo. Here it is. We get the liberty of this fictional story, but this is based on real people, and we were lucky enough to learn about them and get to represent them in a really fun, thrilling action movie. Crazy. I didn't know it was the same brother as uh, Raid. So this is the same brother, Eko, I think uh, his name is. And the crazy thing is I actually watched this movie. I remember uh, the movie where he was like on top of a stretcher and he was fighting those guys. He didn't have like a shirt and a pant on. That's like a scene I think that he got hurt and he's in a hospital. And then two killers come in to try to kill him because the police are trying to talk to him. So I remember that, but it never connected to me small that he's from uh, Indonesia because I, I watched that fight scene. I was amazed. I was like, wow, like, you know, these guys are fighting, you know, pretty good. And he had his hand tied and he, I think, fought two or maybe four of them and he killed all of them. And then basically the by the time the police come, he's already killed uh, the people who were attacking him and he's pretty hurt himself and they come basically rescue him at the last part but it was pretty cool and like they said he's basically the next uh, generation of like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan and uh, you know Pin Sek Salad the Indonesian martial art is the next uh, big thing so thank you very much guys for suggesting it I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and if you like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always thank you very much guys for your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video take care and what's today